Hey, and welcome back to Do News. I am your host, the King of Do, and uh, we are looking at the live markets right now. I probably should have done a screen share with you, but if you're watching this live, you're probably watching the markets too right now. So, uh, some people are going to come in here and start asking some questions, but uh, I, I'm doing another live stream because I did not expect this to happen tonight, but Ethereum is busting loose. Uh, we're at 25891, and there is not much of a wall in sight. Um, I don't know where we're headed tonight, guys. I'm looking for where the next wall is. I don't know what's going on here. Um, money is officially moving out of Bitcoin now um, at a decent pace. Uh, it's already down $100 since uh, I did my last video, which I haven't uploaded yet, but it's uploading as I'm doing this video. Um, but we are cooking right now. Uh, we're just blasting dollar after dollar. We're punching through walls with Ethereum right now. Uh, right now we've got support at 258.97. We just hit 259. We'll see what that what that triggers. GDAX just locked up, and boom, that triggered buy orders. Just insane amount of money coming into the market right now, guys. <laughs> This is exciting. I wanted to bring this to you live because what's happening is we're so close to 100 billion. So close that I was hoping to bring it to you live. Now, we would basically be there right now. We would have been there right now if Bitcoin didn't go down, if it were able to hold that 28. So what's happening right now is all the money's coming out of Bitcoin and it's filtering down. And this happens. We've seen this over and over. If you follow my channel, you hear me talk about it a lot and that Money comes into Bitcoin. We see it coming in through from USD to Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin leads a charge. Money enters the market. Then we see the core coins go up in value. We see Ethereum um, as one of the, the core uh, coins going up in value. Um, and from there, we then see it uh, start affecting all the little altcoins. It starts trickling down. Um, you know, Golem just hit um an all-time high if i'm not mistaken as an example and it, it's one that's likely to uh leverage this uh momentum now without a doubt guys you know just because we just went to an all-time high who knows we could drop down immediately afterwards but it's kind of crazy and i was really hoping that on this video we would get to witness together the 99 to 100 billion crossover but as i refresh we are not getting there guys we're just it's so close now we might hit it um as far as you know this market cap um it could well hit we're definitely at an all-time high we hit 99.4 so that is an all-time high um for cryptocurrencies it's very exciting and hopefully we can uh, last the last a uh, little bit longer I'm hoping that the uh, Bitcoin can hold out Bitcoin did turn around now bitcoins moving back up it bounced a good thirty dollars already I'm talking that I mean there is money moving guys when you have a thirty dollar Bitcoin move like that um, and we're just keeping an eye on it we're seeing a uh, yeah, a small little pullback here on uh, Ethereum, which is good, because uh, I believe we're about to uh, potentially bust uh, maybe a little bit higher. But this is exciting, because if you guys uh, have owned Ethereum for a really long time, usually it'll make these moves. And for some reason, this weird thing about Ethereum is it always bounces around within a certain USD range of about $10. It always does. Um, and lately... Uh, the last few bump ups has been 10 at a time, right? So we got stuck in, you know, the, uh, the 200 to 210 and then 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. And now we're in the 50 to 60 range. So I fully expect us to get close to the 260. It'll be interesting to see if we punch through. Um, in fact, we actually officially got to 159.13 on GDAX. And um, really exciting, really, really exciting. So I'm doing live stream right now. You guys can ask me a question. Um, 
we're gonna hold the we're gonna stick this out together and see if we can hit that exciting number I'm coming over right now to make sure that this is actually live streaming properly I did not check to make sure um, and it says that I am and it says there are plenty of you in here right now so I'm gonna hang out with you guys here let me set this up um, I'm pretty excited guys I'm getting some new monitors in I'm investing in this channel because you guys are investing in me um, you know definitely not any way shape or form profitable <laughs> that's for sure but yeah you guys uh, just the your kind words and your um, support go a long long way um, trying to get this uh, get this up uh, I see the chat now you can say something hello saying hello I'm the king of do I love that I have a little crown I love that because I'm the king of do so maybe some of you are watching uh, while you're driving right now. I'm guessing you guys are watching the markets like I am. You're like, what the heck is crypto? You know, what's going on with crypto right now? Oh my gosh, look at that sell-off on USD. Ooh, doggy. Ether USD just getting wrecked. Bitcoin just volatile as ever. Man. That was a huge sell-off there. Somebody just pumped it and dumped it. They're like, I am out. Man. Like, it still boggles my mind, guys. Like, every time I see that happen, do you guys, like, truly understand that every time you see something like that, like, someone just pushed a button to retirement? Like, they are like, I'm out. They had a target number, right? They're like, I'm going to hit this number with Ethereum. I bought in at, you know, dude, I've seen people that said they bought in at 30 cents. Um, there are people out there that probably bought in at 30 cents and forgot about it. <laughs> that boggles my mind. Oh, man, guys, we're busting through these walls. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, guys. Anyhow, I was really, really hoping we could be here for this. I don't know where the money is moving. I'm, I'm refreshing right now on coin market cap looking at it we're still at 99.3 it takes a while for it to update um when i saw the run i thought bitcoin was going to do it by itself tonight and it still could this is really exciting times i'm sure polonex is losing their mind right now um tremendous amount of wealth being made here today too guys um i hope i hope you um are making money I hope you really, 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 really just let it all sink in. Just enjoy it. There will be days where we make nothing. Okay? <laughs> there will be days where you lose money. But gosh. I hope you're enjoying this ride, guys. I am enjoying it with you. Um, I appreciate you guys being here. Um, what is up, Crypto Cravings? Crypto Cravings saying hi. I got what the fork saying what's up my opinion on the split yeah it looks like it might be august 1st that's the rumors i've been reading i've been reading about it um yeah i'm really excited about it i mean uh how do i put that my excitement lies in the unknown <laughs> Are we going to have an old Bitcoin and a new Bitcoin? I feel like... I feel like it could be good. Like, really good. And here's why. And I might get some really horrible flack for it. And this is only my opinion. But, you know those Bitcoin maximalists out there? I actually believe that there are some that are so maximalist that they would stay on the old one, right? Just like um, there's some people still on Ethereum Classic. And um, I don't know. I feel like if if that community, right, they're split right now. Well, it's not an even split, let's be honest, right? But I feel like if they could just go their own separate way and really do what they believe in, right? Like they go forth and they split up and they say, we're going to go this way and you go that way, that maybe they would both even succeed and we can even go to greater places together, right? Um, or maybe one is right and the other wrong and the other just goes to poop. So, it'll be interesting. 
It'll be fascinating. It's a good way to put it. Uh, clearly, the money entering the markets now is is proof of people not caring. Or maybe it's just pure ignorance and they don't know yet. So, good question, though. Um, we'll probably talk about that a lot on this channel. What else we got here? Oh, we got Mike on the channel right now. MD711. He is one sexy MF. Don't tell my mom I said that. She's not watching right now. At least I hope not. Yikes. She doesn't know what that means, maybe. I don't know. Hi, Mom. Love you. Let's see how these markets are doing, guys. Are we going to do this? Bitcoin's doing a climb. What we need is we need Bitcoin and Ethereum to do the climb. That's where the majority of the money is. We really need Ether to move. It looks like it is recovering from that sell-off. So we're back to about 256. But if you're watching, you already knew that. So... You know, this isn't a live stream to bring you news right now. This is a, this this is potentially, potentially, us uh, experiencing history or being a part of it in some way, right? If you own a Bitcoin right now, any amount, you're a part of it. If you own any altcoin, you're a part of it. Um, I don't know where these markets are going. There's a lot of people that believe it's in the trillions. Um, the amount of technology and the amount of just unbelievably um, valuable minds, the, 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 the mind matter alone, the value there is unbelievable in this space. It is worth way more than $100 billion, guys. Not sure about the coins you're holding. I don't have a clue. But I tell you what, the collective uh, group of people um, in this space, absolutely, without a doubt. I want to take a look here at the 24-hour volume real quick. And um, I just wanted to get an idea real quick of what we've been doing over the last 24 hours. Uh, to see just how crazy this has gotten. So, let's see. One day. Here we go. Just looking at the volume. So get this, guys. Um, when we first started popping, right, we had this slow climb upward, right? So go in, if you go to coin market cap, you look at the charts, and you're looking at the total capitalization of the market, and you zoom into one day and highlight the line, you can actually see the 24-hour volume. 24-hour volume is a critical indicator, right? Well, I can tell you this right now, guys. If you want to know what a whale looks like entering the market... Go look. We started this morning at three billion. So three point one billion within a twenty four hour time frame, right? Okay. So that's within twenty four hours. So this is actually a chart of twenty four hours, guys. Right before we blew up, we hit three point two, so not that big of an increase, right? When we blew up, we blew up. We actually went to 3.273, um, 24 hour period. And according to coin market cap, in that moment, in that exact moment, we actually did break the 100 billion mark. So, which is crazy. Uh, Coin Market Cap did not display that on their page, but we technically officially hit it twice. We've we've poked our head through it for a moment in time, um, so we did it. We technically did it, guys, and it was a massive amount of money that entered the market and then exited the market immediately. An immediate correction to the normal average, and then bounced right back up. And it appears that we have a new trend line of money entering the market. Bitcoin is probably going to go on a run here. That is a very, very bullish move. Uh, we are looking at Bitcoin crushing fiats around the world right now. Is there some news, guys? I mean, I asked for news in a video. I mean, what do you guys know what's going on out there? You guys have our collective brains can come together and maybe figure out what's going on out there. 
What is my uh, market cap for uh, Ethereum by the end of the year? Mm, yeah, double what it is right now. How about that? Double. No reason not to be. It is so much more valuable than Bitcoin. It actually, in and of itself, creates value by itself. So, yeah, I agree with you, NYC Bit. The uh, the support for Bitcoin, I agree. Huge amounts of money moving in right now. I hope you guys are looking at this. I hope you guys are looking at the charts with me because this is insane. Uh, we technically officially broke it, guys. We technically broke it. Um, this is nuts. I'm just uh, typing out, trying to help people find the channel right now. I mean, this is history, guys. I hope you guys understand um, what really just happened here. I mean, there is some serious significance. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a different type of history. It's not like we all just went to war and won a battle. But it is up there. I really think so. Um, I don't know if many people will... It's going to be really cool when this is all huge and it's a trillion dollars someday. And like we're like, yeah, you know. I was there. I was there when we crossed 100 billion. Um, it's crazy to think people were here when it was like under a billion, right? <laughs> Whoever that is, congratulations. Whew. I would love to borrow your yacht. Just for, you know, just for a weekend. I'll show you around the area. That's free of charge. I will buy you lunch. Just, you know. Um... I should start a Slack for crypto trading. Well, I think there's probably a few out there. I don't, um, I guess I could start one. I don't, I don't know if I'd have time to, like, moderate and do all the things that a Slack is required. I think you should. I think you should do it. If you, if you think, that's a great idea. You know, go start the Slack. Let me know what it's called. I'll send people there. I'll set up links and stuff. I don't know. That's all, about all I can do. I spend, uh, I, you know, this news channel is what's important to me right now, helping you guys get the news. Um, right now, it's all about being a part of history. We're enjoying this wild ride together. Uh, more people are joining uh, for you, the guys just getting here. We basically broke $100 billion in market cap. We, we, we punched through it twice. We haven't really settled in on it yet, but um, we are a part of history right now. Uh, Ubik, I think Ubik is uh, unique. I like what they're doing. Um, I don't know if it really has a super strong roadmap, um, per se. But um, it's interesting. It's interesting. It's. Uh, it, I don't know. It's challenging for me because, um, I, you know, it's like, well, you got Ubik. And then you got Ethereum Classic, and soon you're going to have all of these Ethereum copycats, right? That they're trying to do their own thing, and it's like, you better bring to the table something of serious significance. Um, so, that being said, uh, hell, if you can ride the coattails of Ethereum to the moon, do it. I think it can go to the moon. Um... There's no reason. I just, guys, I don't even understand. I don't know how Bitcoin is so much more money than um, Ethereum is right now. Like, it's so just, just proportional. Like, it's not, something's wrong there. <laughs> Trust me, I get it. I understand why I really do. But, you know, I'm just looking forward to the day when, um, when uh, there's more whales in the world who get educated and bring their money to the table. That's all we're waiting for. That's all we're waiting for. So, um, anyhow, guys, let's get some predictions here. So we went to an all-time high. We have an all-time high for Ethereum right now. We just hit an all-time high for Bitcoin tonight. What do you guys think is going to happen? You, know, you think it's going to go up? 
What's your target? What do you what do you think we're gonna level off at? You know, I'm looking for leveling off after this move. I didn't I didn't do a technical analysis tonight. I was going to when my uh, when I got done doing my do news. I'm still uploading that right now, guys. I'm like trying to get my do news out, and this is happening, and people are panicking. There's there's chaos in the streets. It's chaos. Um. Oh yeah, look at that. Do news is live here, so. Uh, I'm going to publish this one for you guys right here. So here comes in another one for you. Get this one up on the Reddit. It is the good one. Got to get it up on Reddit here. You guys use Reddit or you use Steam it? I use both. I love both. Yeah, pretty much my entire uh, news tonight was all about Ethereum. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty much just all Ethereum tonight. So I'm posting that one in the Ethereum Reddit right now. I'll have to get that one up in the, a few other places. So letting the world know right now about my latest post. Uh, I went over uh, the Authy Coinbase hack. If you weren't aware, you'll have to watch that. Actually, if you use Authy and you weren't aware, I'm, I'm going to spread the news right now. Go frickin' read the coinbase you should have gotten an email for one if you didn't you need to go and find the letter authy addressing coinbase users scary stuff scary stuff scares me at least like i'm due to be hacked guys that's my problem in life right now is like um getting hacked it's scary don't like it. I oh, don't like it. Oh, refreshing the live chat here. Ooh, reloading. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think uh, Bitcoin's gonna hit tonight? What do you guys think that uh, Ethereum's gonna hit? Are we gonna pull back? We're gonna see billions of more dollars enter the market now that we broke 100 billion. How much will brass affect the golem price? Well, you know they say the the whales sell on news, right? Um, I expect there to be a sizable increase leading up to the announcement, with a large pullback before the announcement, and then another increase, which is actually a trap, and then the price will drop. That's my prediction. Boop, 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 boom. All right. Twenty eight hundred dollars. I'm checking. I'm, I'm over on a uh, Polonex right now. I just want to see you. How some of these alts are reacting to the chaos, right? Because you're gonna have some type of panic happening elsewhere. I gotta say though, guys. I mean, Ethereum made a run right there. And the thing is, is you know that Ethereum's potential is 0.1 Bitcoin. So it's still, you know, to me, I'm like, okay, could it hit 0.1? If it's gonna hit 0.1, we're gonna break 260. So if if I had to guess. I think that we could potentially break 260, but then come back down to about where we're at right now. I think that that's probably probably where we'll be waking up tomorrow. Just a wild guess, unless, you know, it all hits the fan. Guys, you've got to go look at the order books on this Bitcoin stuff, guys. It's like, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Tons of money entering the market tonight. Super exciting. Super exciting. Let's just hope ETH isn't going to 500 tonight, bro. Um, if, ETH, if ETH goes to 500 tonight, you can come ride on my yacht, all right? You can come ride the King of Dew into the sunset with me. You'll be cordially invited. 500. That'd be delicious and nutritious. I wouldn't go to work tomorrow. 
at 500, guys. I wouldn't quit my job, but I'm not going to work tomorrow. I gotta go yacht shopping. <laughs> yeah, trust me, guys. There will be unlimited Mountain Dew on my yacht. And it will be new. So good. So good. 34 people. Hello. Holy crap, we doubled since the last time I checked. How's it going, guys? We're here right now experiencing history together. We busted through um, 100 billion. 100 billion. And, I'm, and I, I believe I forgot to update what my channel is supposed to say to the world right now. So uh, you probably think we're here celebrating 1,000 subscribers. We already did that today. I came right back after that because the markets just exploded. Just exploded. And uh, we're having a blast on this channel right now. Everybody's coming in, having a good time. And uh, like I said, we already busted through twice that market cap. It looks like we have it. Uh, more increasing pressure the support levels are coming up and as money floods into the market without a doubt we should be looking at crossing over 100 billion uh, right now all over the world there are uh, people writing news articles and pushing it out live and there's celebrations and a crazy amount of press that's going to go out and it's all going to be about bitcoin In fact, people are going to get confused, and I'm sure a lot of uh, news channels are going to report it in a way where it sounds like Bitcoin is worth $10 billion or $100 billion, whatever. It's going to be crazy. Anyhow, super exciting right now. Every time you hit refresh, you're probably making money, so that's exciting too. I hope you are. I hope everyone here is making money i not i know not everything is up today but um golly it's delicious out there right now even though you're in the red you're probably up like that is how out of control we are going right now i'm having a good time i'm having a good time refreshing that market screen right there if you guys have questions go ahead and uh, ask them we were doing some uh predictions on uh, what you think will hit at the end of the year. If you have a prediction, go ahead and spit it out, what you think we could be um, at Ethereum and Bitcoin by the end of the year. So we talked about what it might settle out after this bull run right here. But what do you guys think it will be at the end of the year? When I'm sitting here on New Year's Eve, ringing in the new year with you, where will we be? Ron Paul is in the house. What's up, Ron? That's right. MD711 and I, we actually have an agreement to go get tattoos when Ethereum hits 1,000. Um, I've also told my wife that I will um gift her a additional child when ethereum is ten thousand dollars so looks like bitcoin might get there first i gotta say guys it's a little scary i made that promise only because like what happens if there's like you know some type of like hyper inflation in the u.s <laughs> and we all wake up one day and the dollar is worthless, and so thus it takes $10,000 to buy one Ethereum. Oh boy. I'm having kids. Little dues. Little dues. Yeah, I haven't decided. Um, go ahead and uh, shoot me a chat of where you think I should get uh, my Ethereum tattoo. So I'm getting matching tattoos with MD711. That is an official agreement that we had um it's actually scary when i when i made the agreement it was like a dream we thought it was years away now it's like oh boy i better start figuring out where i'm putting this thing don't don't tell my mom i don't see ethereum hitting 10k unless the usd and the whole entire market crashes and usd is worthless um that being said, you know there's a ton of people that believe Bitcoin's going to hit 10,000, right? 
And if you believe Bitcoin's gonna hit 10,000, my belief is Ethereum is much more valuable. Ethereum is not a coin, however. It is, it is a, a true, uh, a, I don't even know how to put it. It really is the oil, it really is. It's the oil for the new world of blockchain right now. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I talk about it a lot on my channel. Some of you guys, maybe you don't uh, watch my channel often, but I talk about it a lot, how I believe that Ether, shouldn't it be an expense? Like you burn it, right? Um, still interesting. It, it definitely literally is required to be able to use the blockchain. So I still uh, question, I definitely question it. What are we doing here with this Ethereum stuff? It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So anyhow, guys, we hit we hit it. We hit 100 billion tonight. Um, be, be on the lookout for your local newspaper. They should be putting this on the front page. Um, someday, maybe they'll put local, local man gets ridiculously rich off cryptocurrency um, on the same day that we hit a trillion, right? So, um, whatever you have in the market, a trillion right now, you know, do the math on that. Do the math on that. It's ten times what you got, right? If you put your money in the right places at the right time, you know, more. So that's really exciting. Really exciting. Yeah, the EOS with no fees, I, I don't have a, uh, a, uh, opinion on that. I don't think it's BS whatsoever. Mm-mm. I do not. Um, I think that EOS is, like, so far ahead of our time, we're not ready for it. BAT, uh, do I believe in BAT? Uh, no, I've, I've done a few videos on it. Um, and I already said that it's super risky. Um, the chances of it happening are very low. So that's my take on that. Um, and then my whole belief went away once 99% of the BAT was purchased by 100 people. So now that we are fighting over scraps and the market is completely manipulated it is a lottery ticket so how high could it go i do not know is it worth it to put in a dollar i don't know i don't know that's up to you if you like to play the lottery i don't like mar market manipulation a lot of these coins are done that way it's very dangerous very dangerous but if it's money that you're fine going to nothing in an instant one of those 100 people can click a button and you literally are left with nothing. If you're okay with that, you're, you're good to go. Good to go. Um, don't forget, um, I actually read this somewhere today, don't forget that when you bet on a ICO, you are betting, you are doubling down essentially on a bet that doesn't pay very well. And what I mean by that is you're going to be if you own Ether right now, you're already betting that Ether is going to be successful. If you then get an EC, you know, 20 token, if you go and you buy something like BAT with your Ether or anything you get with your Ether, um, that's an EC20, you're, you're kind of doubling down. So just be careful. So if you have Gollum, that's, your, that's a double down. It truly is. And um, that's how I view my Gollum position. It's like... If Ethereum blows up, this is gonna blow up, and I'll be really, I'll be doing okay in life. Um, so that's my position, guys. Just make sure you uh, you think about that. Yeah, the flipping is absolutely real. Like I don't even know how to tell you. I mean, it's already happened. It's like over. 
That's just, I mean, if you go and you look at the Bitcoin dominance, it hit an all-time low, like literally all-time low, 42.2 or something like that. I don't know. It was 44.2. I think it was 44.2. Sorry. And, uh, yeah. It's down like 40% in the last, what, two months? You tell me what a crash looks like, and I'll point you to the chart of dominance, and that is the crashing. So, it's crazy. Lisk. Yeah, I like Lisk. Mike, I don't like to talk about Lisk because I want to buy more Lisk. I need the price to go down. Shh. I'm just kidding. I'm not that selfish, guys. There's just so many coins to talk about, and I, I don't even spend much time talking about coins as much as just the markets and the news in general. Um, I do do coverage on ICOs. If you watch this channel and you enjoy it, make sure you subscribe and you get more of that. But Digi-hype. Uh, Digibyte hype. The, <laughs> the hype is real, as in the hype. Yeah, way overhyped. Um, yeah, there's no, guys, I was saying it in my last, in my video earlier today, I would just ignore the hype. The technology in Digibyte I like, won't lie, won't lie about that, I really actually like it as a coin. Uh, I'm not sure I uh, am going to bet anything on them partnering with, I don't know, Facebook and stuff, it's like, like I said in a video, I went to Amazon two weeks ago, just because some guy at Digibyte has a meeting at Facebook, that's meaningless. It could be about anything. It could be about them, like, setting up their social media. Like, what? I don't get it. Things just get blown out of proportion. People make stuff up all the time. Just my opinion. That being said, could it blow up like Ripple and millionaires be made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it just happens all the time around here. So it's like, whatever. It's going to happen to one of my followers someday. You know? So take me on your yacht if it's you, please. Just come say hi. Again, I'll buy you lunch. Um, buy Nim. Yes, buy Nim. You're, you're buying lots of ARC. I like ARC. I've owned ARC for a very long time. I'm not sure why you throw money at things, though. Um, I don't know. It's just fun to throw things, maybe. I like throwing things. Oh, nice, Ron. Um, if you have over 10,000, you can get a node. It's super cool. I'm right with you, Long... Uh, long yeah, dude. Long stock silver. He is a very wise man. Every time he looks at Ripple, he'd rather be in them. Don't forget that Catapult's coming out any day, guys. And it is specifically designed to attack Ripple and everything that they're doing. And that's even if Ripple is real. Let's be real about Ripple right now. I have doubts. I've owned it. So, but I don't anymore. I'll just say that. Got out when it was right. Thank you. Yeah, 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. I can't believe it, dude. It's like crazy. It's like, I just looked and I think we just broke 1,100. I'm sure I will, without a doubt. I don't know what happened. It's like, once you hit 1,000, it's like YouTube. I don't know. Maybe they just put my videos where people can find them easier now. Like, I'm legitimate now. I don't know. What's up, Sam King? Yeah. Steam and uh, BTS. Uh, BTS just got done with a pump. Steam just got pumped. Um, a little bit as well. Um, I'm not complaining because I have a lot of Steam. I would like to see Steam find better support, though. It seems like... Steam can hit $2, and then it can be 
you know, 80 cents again, so it's really frustrating. When you have a lot of steam, it's a frustrating experience, but I tell you what, um, your guys is, I tell you what, guys, every single steam you give me on Steam It, I power up every last one. Um, I'm either going to uh, be a, you know, wealthy from my Steam someday, or I am going to laugh about how I used to have so much money in Steam It, and it's now nothing. So, yeah. Hey, I mean, I don't blame the whales for buying. Look, guys, look, 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 look. The rich get richer on Steam. It's literally how it's designed. I don't know how to fix that or change that. It's literally built that way. Um, you're not going to have any success there as a content creator unless you invest some actual real dollars, right? I was... I was screwing around with it and stuff and was making a little bit without putting anything in but then I put just a little in and just a little in was like oh wow yeah just putting a few bucks in here let's go let's go and then I put some more in and then it really got smoking so thanks to you guys too I, I, I had an all time high guys this is nuts I don't know if you use steam it but you know, I made some very good money on Steam it yesterday, yesterday and the day before, all time highs for me. It was it was incredible. I mean, I'm not. Again, I don't know if Steam is going to be worth a penny someday or if it's going to be five dollars. I'd be interested to know what you guys think on Steam it, but. Um. Man. Steam it has one of the most exciting and interesting staking propositions, right? And then um, I'm rewarded for creating this content. Like, I'm going to do this already, right? And then you go over to Steam it, and it's like, oh, hello. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yeah, most investment. Yeah, I agree with you. Investment vehicles. It's just one hell of a vehicle, guys. Whew. I mean, I've been tempted to put even more in there. Super tempting. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I see some people who do it and how much they're making and stuff. and I don't know. What's up, Crypto Mom? Crypto Mom knows where it's at, dude. She's got a channel. I've seen her video. She started recording. I think that's the same Crypto Mom. She knows what's up. That is one cool mom right there. Got to keep it PC here. <laughs> Anyhow, everyone join in. Hello, I am the King of Dew. Hey, there we go. I'm actually going to screenshot this because this is the first time it's officially reporting on coin market cap. So if you go there right now, you can actually screenshot. It's literally almost exactly 100 billion. It's literally 100 billion and 1 million. <laughs> there it is. Screenshotted and saved for all time so that I can put, you know, uh, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll have a painter paint it with oil. And I'll hang it on my wall. And we'll dream of days gone by. While I count my steam it. I don't know. It's ridiculous. We did it, guys. You know, we did it already earlier. It's just, you know, if it's reporting, you know, it's a little more settled. It's a little more official. Maybe just a tiny bit official here. But um, there you have it. Congratulations to everyone for being here. This was a part of history. You guys took the time to share that history with me. Um, is that my mom? Crypto mom? Crypto mom loves me. Oh, snap. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... Uh, yeah, crypto mom's cool. Check out her channel. She's getting up and going. She's super cool. Hey, I just, yeah, again, I just want to thank everyone for joining. We got, you know, there's only 38 of us here right now, and that's pretty good. Considering this, I am blushing. I'm blushing, Mike. Stop it. 
I already had another viewer tonight say she loved me, and I didn't know how to respond. I just told her, don't tell my wife, and that I love you too. But I don't even know if it was a guy or a girl. I don't even know. I was just... Couldn't tell. It's like... I don't know. <laughs> um... Josiah, I, I highly recommend Bittrex. I wouldn't say it uh, allows you to purchase the most. Um, but um, I highly recommend it. It's one of the larger ones. They adopt coins much, much faster and sooner um, than Polonex. They also have consistently proven to do the right thing. Like, you want to talk morals and what the right thing to do is? Bittrex does it consistently. They also, um, uh, yeah, guys, I saw it. Yeah, 100 billion, that's nuts. I screenshotted it. Make sure you screenshot it, guys. You want to save that somewhere, you know, put it in your family album somewhere. You're going to giggle about it someday. Um, show your kids. I don't know. Grandkids, whatever. I don't know if Bitrix has an app, but I do use the mobile browser to buy and sell. I would assume they're working on an app. The amount of money they have is ridiculous. Unbelievable amount of money. Bittrex is very solid. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe it was MD711 who shared with me that the guy who used to uh, work on security at Amazon started Bittrex. So if you have concerns about security, he is one of the best. The best. I highly recommend it. Um, there is some other ones. Um, MD711 might be able to help me with another one. There's one that has, like, every alt you've ever heard of on the planet. Like, they will trade it. I think it's Bitter. Is it Bitter? B-T-E-R? It's either that exchange. I know that's an exchange, but maybe it's another one. But it probably has, like, a million different ones on there. Sometimes I find a coin that's so obscure, I'm like, where in the world is this traded? It's always there. I'm like, all right. Uh, I think Bittrex is going to be uh, bigger than Polonex. Uh, I give it, I don't know. Unless Polonex gets their shoes together in a big hurry. Um, so many people are leaving Polo to go over to Bittrex. No one complains there. It's starting to get more liquid. Um... And again, they just do the right thing. I think that's really appealing. Uh, if I was on Polo, I would leave because I would feel safe there. You know, there's too many people yelling scam and Polo in the same sentence, right? So. ESO will sell out instantly. I honestly don't have a suggestion. Um, you need to sync your block. You need to pay a very high transaction fee probably too high biz apps he's got multiple accounts when will we hit a trillion okay um within 10 years <laughs> guys at the rate we're going we'll hit it at uh what um let's see we went from like 30 to 100 in a couple months so it's 70 uh, 10 months, 10, 20, 5 years, 5 years, jeez, Twenty twenty to 2025 for sure, yep, and well, hopefully we're all back here, right, hopefully instead of 37 people, by then maybe we'll have, man, if there's trillions, we'll have 37,000 people, I don't know. How many people are you watching? Will YouTube even be around? I don't know. All right, guys. I'm going to go because, um, you know, I love you too, Crypto Mom, but I have a mom in the house right now I need to love as well. We got to spend some time with the family. I also want to enjoy my hot tub. Today is worthy of a hot tub. I, uh, I already got Mountain Dew. I don't need any more Mountain Dew. Hmm. I don't need to buy any more Mountain Dew. Um, in fact, when I have tons of money, I'll probably stop drinking as much Mountain Dew. And I will uh, 
I don't know. I'm going to start a... I don't know. I'm just going to travel the country and give away Mountain Dew. How about that? I don't know. Thanks, Crypto Mom. I enjoy your videos, too. I hope I hope they're going well. Yeah. No, see, Crypto Mom's cool. She knows what's up. She knows what's up with the Mountain Dew. She thinks it's cool. All right, guys. This video went longer than I thought. I really appreciate all of you uh, stopping by. Um, again, broke an all-time high today. Uh, lots of zeros in my life right now. There's something about zeros. I, sh I should probably look into that because uh, we hit the uh, 100 billion. I have a thousand subscribers and within less than 24 hours, I got a hundred more subscribers. Uh, all-time high of um, adoption here. So anyhow, guys, it was nice to experience it with you. Um, man, I think it's going to be really uh, funny when we're doing this here in five years and uh, you can say, hey, remember when we did that? Uh, remember when we did the 1,000 subscribers? I was one of your first thousand people. So um, I want to thank every single one of you so much again uh, for the 1,000s. Today is a, a, a personal accomplishment. You know, I thought it was going to take me forever to do it. And it was something that, you know, I wanted to prove to my daughter that, you know, you can you can stick um, stick to something, see it through, and actually get there. I just didn't know it would be so quick. You guys made it really easy. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. Like, it happens so fast, and, 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 and you guys like this so much, and you support me so much through uh, your likes and your shares and your donations and things like that. Like, I can see those stats back here, too. Like, how many times you guys are sharing it in different places, and I'm, it's blowing my mind. I'm like, whoa, people are, like, really putting this stuff out there on the Internet. There's people who are watching me. It's kind of scary. Coin of Dew. Like it. Let's start a coin. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what should we call it? Well, you guys come up with the concept, all right? You guys, you guys could come up with the concept. I can help with the roadmap. I, I totally can do roadmap. I can do marketing, digital marketing. We can do the whole thing. But what type of value is the coin going to create? I don't want to create a coin just for a coin, right? Yeah, we're going to have a do coin, man. Definitely going to have a do coin. I just, you know, I need to under, I need to have real value. I don't want to create one for fun. I want to create one where it's like somehow we can come together. Uh, we can have a decentralized governed coin. Um, you know, how do we do it? How do we do it? Open source music composing. See, here's the thing with the open source music composing. Um, huge music fan and everything. Don't get me wrong. But, um, I'm a really big fan of uh, AI music composing. And if that's something you've not looked into yet, go check that out. Artificial intelligence, creating music. Um, it's so in its infancy, right? Where it's like you can dream about what it might be like in two years, but who knows what it'll be like in 10 years, right? Uh, I think that's fascinating. Will, will, will um, my favorite music be artificially made? by artificial intelligence don't know dude we got guys people want to make the t-shirts and stuff guys we're gonna to have to start a website are we gonna do this we're gonna do a do do coin ico you guys are hilarious i love it i like the trading card idea i mean that's basically yeah i actually love it uh, i like the trading card um ron you had the uh the hearthstone idea right as well Frickin' Blizzard, man. One of these one of these video game companies needs to pull their head out and just make it happen, right? It's, oh, yeah, dude. It's super obvious. Well, don't sell it to Magic. Sell it to all of them. Yeah, one coin to rule them all, right? Like, dude, it's what the it's what the people want, dude. I go to PAX every year. You guys go to PAX, PAX 2017, West Coast. I'll be there. The King of Do himself. Maybe I'll live stream there. Maybe we can interview, interview one of my amazing uh, followers. If you're going to be at PAX... 2017 or the international dota 2 international championship in seattle if you guys are going to be there this year let me know i will meet with you there's a spider on my wall oh boy Whew. anyhow guys i definitely got to run i love you guys see this is why I, this is why i did this channel is to have conversations like this i'm having a blast that's why i don't want to go but my wife's going to kill me if i don't talk to her right 
All right, she worked hard today too. She deserves my time. Um, anyhow, guys, I really appreciate it. Congratulations to everyone on 100, 100 uh, billion. Uh, congratulations for being one of my first 1,000. And it looks like we already have people signing up for DoCoin. I mean, we need to figure out how many coins we're going to issue. One Ether equals one. You know, we got to figure this out. We've got a long ways to go here. And, um, you know, what's really exciting is we're actually going to be able to do this using uh, Aragon, right? Aragon is going to allow us to do this. We can actually go in and build a company and build the governance and build the business rules. It can self-govern itself. So he with the most do shall win, right? Dude, I swear, I think people just because... It, dude, people would buy the coin just to say they have it. That's the funny part right now. I don't know what it would be worth, but we, if we made some coins, right, and we just put it out there... Got on the exchanges. You tell me what would happen. Problem is, no one's going to take it seriously, but there's so much money entering this market. Like, people would put $20 on it, right? It's all those gamblers out there, all these gamblers. So, you know, if we just keep the coin the coin cap really low, right? Like, we only issue, like, a million. We make it, like, this rare, rare sought-out thing, and uh, we own them all. And uh, we just convince the world that, you know, if you have a do coin, dude, you're cool. They're hard to get. There's only a million do coins. Yeah, there's only there's only a million. So, I don't know. I think we can do. I can do. Yeah, we will be the whales. We'll drive the price up. We'll allow one coin to be uh, exchanged on the on the exchange. And um, yeah, we'll all be rich with do coins. Yeah, you guys all want to be millionaires? Let's do that. We're gonna issue a million to um, everyone in the ICO, right? And, uh, you, you know, we'll announce it on the channel. You guys will be the first to get it on the ICO. We'll do it live. And then we will pump and dump, th we will pump it to the moon, guys. It's, it literally sounds legit. Are we doing proof of stake? Are people gonna mine this? What are we doing, guys? Proof of importance. I kinda like proof of importance. We can all be important together, since we're all going to be the whales. We should peg. We should peg it to. Uh, we're going to peg it to a can of Mountain Dew. The price of the price of Dew at your local Costco, right now. The proof of Dew. Ooh, proof of Dew. Okay. I know I only have like a thousand people, um, but someday. There'll be 10, maybe 20, 30,000. We're going to need to get some t-shirts and proof of due. I like it. Proof of due is good. I would buy it. If no one else will, I would buy it and I would wear it. Do me, yes. Yeah. I'll get I'll get it right on that, Mike. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're gonna, let's work on this coin concept. Uh, you know, sometimes the best ideas in the world come from uh, moments like this, right? Moments where everyone's feeling good, juices are flowing, creativity is flowing. This is real value that's happening right now, right? Aren't we all enjoying this? Being entertained by this? Isn't the, that the definition of value in a way? Like, um, that people are, are seeking to enjoy this entertainment? Arcs at 71 cents? I gotta go, guys. I'm... I I'm about to be rich. I don't even know. All right, guys. <laughs> Ark to the moon. I don't know what's going on with Ark, bro, but I told you to buy Ark two months ago. So um, don't ask me what's going on with Ark. All right. Anyhow, guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you again. I'm going to let you go. This ran for an hour. I'm going to get killed. Love you guys. Um, stay safe. And as always, I am the king of Dew. And someday we'll all own Dew Coins. But until then, may the Force be with you.